Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 24th or, you know, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, whatever. The timing is fluid, so these readings are timeless. You can go to any daily vibe, pick one, and I bet you anything it will resonate because they're timeless. And there's a long list of them. So if you want, if you're looking for a pick a card reading, pick a daily vibe. So what do we ha what do we have? What do we have for a message today? Four of Swords. Tired. Tired. Very tired. Exhausted. We got two. Been a serious power struggle. Somebody has been experiencing a power struggle with another person. Okay, this person may not have any money. It could be a fight over money. It could be a fight over, it looks like money to me. It doesn't have to be, but it looks like it could be. Um, definitely struggling, having conflict, fighting um, over what somebody has to offer. There could be some financial hardship here, struggling with the money. Um... A lot of mental conflict here with all these swords. Really, really uh, indecisive as to what to do now. What do I do? You know, wanting to protect. Somebody's wanting to protect themselves because they're feeling, uh, they may be in a hostile environment. You know, they may be, you know, feeling like, they, like they, they're being attacked almost. Um... Five of Swords, there's some sort of uh, belittling going on, maybe even abuse. Somebody could be abusing another person because there's there's financial struggles. This is financial struggles, okay? Um, there could also be an ex that is in the way when you get the Knight of Pentacles reversed. You know, there could be an ex that is causing problems. Um, the Knight of Pentacles reversed is unstable, insecure. Uh, we may have somebody here that is very lazy. They're not qualified for a job or uh, there's no long-term stability here or there's a sponger. You know, somebody is a sponger. Um, this is an inability to see something in a state of denial. You know, somebody is denying the truth, needing to make a stressful decision but unable to. But they are definitely exhausted and fed up and have probably, it looks like they've reached a breaking point and they're really, really thinking about walking away because this is a very hostile, the Five of Swords is a hostile situation. This is feeling defeated, you know. They could be dealing with a bully. We may have a bully here. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um... There's been some sort of, something is, is not moving in the right direction or it's there's some sort of delay. There's a delay because somebody's not really, uh, doesn't have the mindset with all these swords. They don't have the mindset to uh, change their circumstances. They're lazy. I'm just being honest. There's laziness here. Um... Now the two of swords is 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 on the fence, being being sitting on the fence. What what do I do now? Somebody is wondering what they what they what to do, and they're try, probably trying to avoid confrontation. You know, so they're staying in a situation that looks to be it looks to be very tiring. Okay, so we have a very tiring. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Um, this is too much. It's overwhelming. It looks like it's an overwhelming battle, you know, a battle of who's going to win, who's going to win, you know. So a lot of back and forth energy.
devil. Uh, this is a toxic, unhealthy situation. This is a partnership, and this is very toxic, unhealthy. Somebody is really, really needing to face their fears because these are both cards of fears, and, and there's codependency here. So somebody is uh, codependent on a situation that is blocking them from success, okay? They're codependent on the situation, and it's and it's really making it feels like there's some sort of there could be illness here, you know. And even if it's even if it's somebody may could even have mental illness, but it's this could be a mental blockage. Somebody is blocking their their feelings, trying to avoid confrontation with somebody that is. I feel like there's some sort of abuse here. It could be mental abuse, and that is a thing. Verbal abuse. Uh, all is not as it seems. We have a very unhealthy partnership. Um, and it is really mentally draining another person. It's draining. It is draining. And it, this is a need to stop. Just walk away. Just stop and walk away. Okay? Find your courage to do so. You know, you might have to take off the blindfold and see it for what it is. But this is... this the, the, with. With the devil card, the devil is ruled by the shadow. You know, the shadow, I, like I've said before, I can make my shadow look like a duck on the wall. I don't know if you can see it. You can't see it, but, you know, it's not. It's actually my finger. But I can, I can make it look like whatever I want it to look like. You know what I mean? So, the devil is ruled by the shadow. So, there's an energy of something is not as it seems. Okay, all is not as it seems. Um, somebody's in a deep, dark place and they're feeling lost and dead inside and they're really, really thinking about making a decision to stop and walk away. So that's what we've got going on here. Like this is, this is such a battle. Okay. It's not going anywhere. It's not going in the right direction. There's a lot of fear of breaking free because of the codependency part of it. And codependency can be many different things. It can be an addiction. Okay, it can be uh, addicted to, ha, and that's what codependency is. It's an, it's an addiction to anything. It could be a person, could be sex, could be drugs, could be alcohol, could be food, could be whatever. But this is an addiction of some sort. So we have somebody here that needs to find their ability to break free from something that is very unhealthy. It looks like it's a partnership because two is a partnership with an individual that is not very practical. This person may not be very loyal, um, not reasonable, uh, jealous, possessive, a bully. I feel like we have a bully here. Okay, I do. So um, now, now they've been drained by this energy. When they got into it, it looked really, really, really good. Right? Because that's what the devil energy brings. Something that looks so good, but it's not. Okay? Below the surface, it's really, really not. You know, it's really a duck. Anyhow, um, this is a toxic situation. It is. Yeah, it looks to me like solitude is needed. Somebody is really thinking about breaking free. They're thinking about something, but they're not listening to their gut. They may be under a lot of social pressure. You know, social media is a huge problem. It's huge, especially when things get posted on social media. It's embarrassing. There could be some public embarrassment here. You know, um... Hi, priest. This is under a lot of social pressure. Having a hard time doing the right thing. Somebody's having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. And that's ego. Now we got the devil versus God. No kidding. So somebody is letting their ego get in the way of their own happiness. And we talk about this a lot. Uh, who gives a shit about what? Facebook things or Instagram or anybody else. There is social pressure here and there's an opportunity for happiness if somebody can face their fears. 
They need to, somebody needs to face their fears and uh, break free from whatever this is. Now, the Two of Swords is in denial. In denial about this codependency. Somebody's in denial. Ignoring their intuition, ignoring their gut. <sighs> there's a lack of faith there, with the hair of font is work, uh, reversed as well. So there's a lack of faith and trust. Doesn't believe somebody's not very spiritual. We have somebody here that is not very spiritual that doesn't believe in a higher power. They don't have any faith. Somebody also may have received some poor counsel with the hero font reversed. You know, from somebody that is not who they say they are. You really got to be careful for that shit. So somebody received some poor counsel. Could be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn. We have Taurus, Capricorn here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Leo. We also have a lot of air. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody is being torn in two directions as to what decision that they should make. They know that they're in a toxic situation, but they just keep on pushing it down and it's killing them. It's like they're make, it's making them feel dead and empty inside to stay in this toxic situation. You know, it's definitely not what they thought it was when it started out. And they may have gotten into it because of society, because of the social pressure, because they wanted it to look good. Seriously, somebody wanted to look good to, to society. They wanted to say that they were in a partnership, that they had a partner. Anyway, there's happiness around the corner. There is. If... Somebody can break free from whatever this is. There is happiness around the corner. Extreme happiness. But they would need to be have faith. Somebody needs to have faith and they need to wake up. They do. They need to wake up. They need to withdraw. And they need to take a break from whoever this person is that is mentally draining them and causing them so much stress. They need to be able to not worry about the social pressure. Somebody's being controlled. They are being controlled. And it may have something to do with a father figure. You know, somebody's being controlled may have something to do with a father, a child. There is definitely somebody that is not seeing things clearly with the Two of Swords. They have been in some sort of disillusionment. And now their energy is drained. And I feel like they are, and it's a bully. I feel like they're dealing with somebody that is a bully. Somebody that is mentally abusive. Or maybe even physically abusive. But right around the corner is the sun card, which is happiness. But how do we get to happiness? Breaking free. Because that's what you have to do. You have to sever ties from this codependent situation, whatever the hell it is. And it's hell. Because that's what the devil brings. Hell. Somebody living in hell. With another person that has probably betrayed them or belittled them or bullies them or abuses them, says mean things, fights with them all the time. Woo, five of wands reversed. Now that is giving up a fight. It is. It's a turning point. It's it's ending it. Right? 
Not going to play games anymore. Not going to fight anymore. There's been some sort of fear of confrontation. And I feel like it's because of social media. I feel like because somebody, you know, is so public on social media, they've stayed because it's, it's that, and, and social media has taken control of the freaking world. Let them post it. Who cares? Who cares? Your ego? Your ego cares? Your ego is controlling your happiness? Ego controlling happiness. Ego controlling happiness. And that's what that is. But there's an opportunity for happiness if somebody can decide to not worry about playing games. Decide to let go of the battle. I don't care if I win. I'm walking away. You win. So there's probably going to be a fight by the looks of things with these fives. It looks like there could be a fight. There could be an argument. Somebody could get angry again with the devil card. There's some sort of obsession here. There's greed. There's, there's, for, there's forcefulness. Somebody's trying to force something. They may be trying to force somebody. I don't know if they're trying to force somebody to... I don't, I don't know where this comes from, to be a father to a child. And I don't know if that's, because this is force, this is father, this is child. I don't know if that's for everybody. That's unrealistic. You know, you can't force somebody to do something that they don't want to do. And, and, and whether that person had the child or not, I don't know where this is coming from. That's not going to be for everybody. Five of Wands reversed. That is... A loss of some sort. It is. Or giving up. Giving up the fight. Could be losing a battle as well. Hmm. We could have somebody that is losing a battle. But it, it leads to a new beginning. Okay, because the sun card is a new beginning. It is. It's a happy new beginning. It's a new start. It's a new day. It's a breakthrough. So there is happiness around the corner. Once somebody, I feel like somebody has let the devil, they've listened to the devil instead of their gut. They're into instead of God as well. You know, because the devil is upright and the Hierophant is right, reversed. Okay, they've, they've listened. The poor counsel, like I said. There's been some poor counsel here. Somebody, uh... Let lust, greed, ego, materialism, whatever, pull them in the wrong direction. And they've lost a connection with a higher power or, or themselves. Because, and not everybody believes this, and that's fine, but I believe that God is within you. Okay? It's hard to explain. I also believe that in the universe, but... You know, somebody has let this ego get in the way of their happiness, which we already said. Anyhow, this is, this is, I feel like giving up. Somebody is giving up or they're going to be giving up. And they, but there could be a fight or a battle or somebody could get angry, you know, and lose control because of a battle. Okay. So just saying some, somebody could be losing a battle, um, Three of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Whew. Wow. We definitely have somebody here that could get angry. Very, very angry and upset. Um, doesn't really have anything to offer. Doesn't want to give anything. Doesn't want to work together anymore. Doesn't have the means to work together, isn't cooperating, you know, doesn't want to cooperate, 
doesn't isn't on the same page. They aren't on the same page anymore. Uh, there's definitely some arguing over money. Okay, there's fighting over money here. Um, we have one individual or both. I mean, there's definitely arguments over money, financial burdens here, financial hardship, which is causing the the, the, the which is probably the main cause of the fight by the looks of things. Um, doesn't look like there's any love in these cards. There is in the future because there is in the future, but not right now. Okay, because there's no love in these cards. Okay, there isn't. There is no love in those cards right there. This is all about money. It's all about what can I get? What can you give me? Okay, so that's what's going on here. I feel like somebody's gonna see the light with the moon. I mean, the sun card. Somebody's gonna see the light. They're gonna. They're gonna. I feel like they're gonna get some sort of clarity. They've, there's somebody's been in a dark, dark, dark. This is a dark place. It really is. It is. And they've been feeling lost and empty inside with a partner because twos are partners. They've been with a partner or a person that is really draining them. And they may be draining them in more ways than one. It may, they may be draining them mentally, but they also may be draining their bank account. You know what I mean? There's definitely some some financial problems here. And we may have somebody that isn't very good with money, you know, and wastes their money. And that's part of the problem. That's part of the fight. Um, this person has is very materialistic. You know, they get their money and they spend it and then they don't have any to live on. Um, I do see uh, somebody getting some sort of clarity that it's time. It feels like it's time to let go, you know, with the five of wands reverse. It's time to walk away and stop playing these games. Stop, you know, investing. Stop investing in whatever this this non-commitment you know somebody got committed to it because it looked good but it's not okay uh, there could be definitely a breakup here with that that you know hair font reverse the high priest reversed okay there could be a separation that is coming um we have somebody that uh is very very controlling anyway three of cups reversed that could even be a th third party situation this is parting ways this honeymoon is over. The honeymoon is over. This party is over. This is not happiness. Okay? This is not what I asked for. So I do see parting ways. I see parting ways and going after happiness. It's like seeing the light. It's like, this is not what I want. I don't want to be committed to this. I don't want to be committed to this game okay because the five of wands is a game i don't want to fight all the time either and this is parting ways so whoever and this could be with from friends family whatever if there's a need to refocus and that's what we have somebody doing they're about to refocus They've been in a place with an individual that doesn't have anything to contribute. And it's been a constant battle. <laughs> now... Typically, I say with the Four of Swords, this is the death of a person or idea. So this is the death of an idea. It's the death of a foundation that was built on false pretenses. It's not working out. So anyway, um, This battle over money is probably going to end with like, probably some public recognition, just saying, because people like when they're hurt or when they get rejected, they, they publicize it, okay? So be prepared for that, but don't worry about it unless your ego is so huge. This is all about ego. It is. Happiness is more important than ego. 
You don't need to protect yourself, okay? Speak your truth. Let them speak theirs. And do whatever you gotta do. Good luck.